There are plenty of reasons you may want to see old versions of websites. Think about it. A lot of things change over time. Consider our own website, for example. It has been around since 2008, and as you might imagine, a lot of things have changed since its early days. There are many services that store or cache old copies of websites. In most cases, they take snapshots of specific sites and pages upon request. That means you could end up with an archive that saves thousands of copies of your website over time. Let's check out some of these services and what they have to offer. Number one, Internet Archives Wayback Machine. This nonprofit organization stores over 448 billion pages, and you can navigate them using their tool, the Wayback Machine. To get started, enter the URL of the website you want to check out. The Wayback Machine will show you a graph that tracks how often copies of that website were saved over the years. If you click on a specific year within that graph, you'll be able to access individual copies of the site using a calendar. To give you an idea of how thorough an archive this is, the Wayback Machine has saved over 19,700 copies of the Elegant Themes website. Once you select what snapshot you want to see, the Wayback Machine will load that cached copy in a new tab. Keep in mind that loading times probably won't be as fast as you're used to. Once the page loads, however, you should be able to interact with it as usual. You can move from page to page, save images, read comments, etc. In some cases, though, you won't be able to navigate within old cached copies of a website. That's because some pages that are linked to might not be cached, which is common for sites with massive content libraries. Number two, oldweb.today. This is a service that enables you to load copies of old websites while emulating old browsers to give you the full experience. This service pulls copies of the pages you want to see from third-party archives. Those include the Internet Archive and national libraries from around the world. As you might expect, though, emulating old browsers and pulling data from several sources takes time. OldWeb.today often requires you to wait in a virtual line before you could see what you want. As fun as it could be to browse old websites, the wait times mean that this isn't as great of an option if you want to check out multiple versions of the same site. And finally, number three, Library of Congress. The American Library of Congress houses the largest collection of books, recordings, newspapers, and websites in the world. Its website collection works differently than our previous two suggestions, though. If you try looking up a specific website using the library search feature, you'll probably find a collection of haphazard results. Here's what appears when we look up Reddit, for example. When you open individual links, the library enables you to browse the pages it has in storage using a system identical to the Wayback Machine. You could browse the archive itself without running a search, as the library offers an in-depth category system that includes all of its entries. Although the archive isn't as extensive as the Wayback Machine, it offers a lot more detail. And there you go. That's how you can go back to view old versions of websites. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.